Hey everybody, it's Kendra. So welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. Okay, so today I have like tons and tons of beauty goodies in front of me. I am doing a big crazy haul. So this is like, this is my bye bye au revoir France haul. Okay, I'm back in the US. I flew in exactly two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, before I left, I bought a lot of stuff. So it took a little trip to the pharmacy. I also went to Bourgeois. And then I got a few things at Monoprix. Monoprix is a really cool grocery store in Paris. It's kind of like, it's almost like Target, I would say. Um, but they have really good beauty stuff there. And then I also picked up a few things at the airport in Copenhagen. We flew from Paris to Copenhagen to Chicago. So I was very happily surprised at the quality, like the amazingness that is the Copenhagen airport. It was just incredible. It's like this crazy big shopping mall. I was really, really impressed. I've never been to an airport like this. So I took advantage of that, did a little, just a little duty-free shopping. I didn't do anything too crazy. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm gonna go through my pharmacy goodies first. So the pharmacy I went to is called Monge Pharmacy. It's by Metro Station Monge. And I believe this is one of the most famous pharmacies in Paris, at least within like the Asian community. I'm pretty sure this specific pharmacy was in a Korean or Japanese drama um, because it's just crazy. Like when I was in Korea, my students would always say like, oh, Kendra, do you know Monji Pharmacy, Monji Pharmacy? I'm like, what are you talking about? But they say Monji in French, you say Monj. Anyway, um, it's always really crowded, but they have really, really good prices. They always seem to like buy all their stuff in bulk. So you can really like save some money if you go there. Anyway, that's where I went. It was very busy. I went kind of around like 10 a.m. I think if you go like pretty early in the day, like you're okay, but afternoon, don't go. It's way too busy. Okay, so what did I buy at Monji, Monji Pharmacy? So I bought a few Nukes products. So the first one is the Nukes Huile Prodigieuse, and this is their ore one, their gold one. So it looks like this. So I've had the normal Huile Prodigieuse before, but this one is gold. It has like this gold shimmery glitter stuff in it. I've never tried this. Um, I thought this would be really nice on like tan skin, really nice dry oil for the summer. Okay, also from Nukes, I picked up their Nirvanesque U, which means eyes. Um, this is their, the Nirvanesque Eye Cream. This says, first wrinkle smoothing eye contour cream. It de-stresses, illuminates, and it's for anti-dark circles. Oh, that's so bright. Just an eye cream. Um, Sani had told me about this, my girlfriend Sani, and she raved about this, so I wanted to give this baby a whirl. And then I picked up a bunch more of this. This is the Nukes Reve de Miel Lip Balm, and it's for dry or chapped lips. So it looks like this. This stuff is incredible. Looks like that. Kind of this like yellowy orange color. This is probably the best lip stuff I've ever used. Best lip balm. This stuff will heal your lips. It will like hydrate your lips like no other. I put this on every night before I go to bed. When I wake up in the morning, it's still there and my lips are so soft. I love, love, love I this stuff. I also picked up the Nukes Reve de Miel Lip Moisturizing Stick. So this is just like the Reve de Miel lip balm and this is a moisturizing stick. So I really wanted to test this out because I, I knew I loved this and I had seen this so I thought, okay, are they the same? They're not. This is much more waxy. Um, it's not nearly as moisturizing. It's still nice, but I'm like super biased towards this. I love, love, love this. Okay, that's it for Nukes. Moving on to Coralie, another lovely French brand. This is the hand and nail cream. So it says it's, it nourishes and it's antioxidant. I don't think this is like any specific flavor or scent, but it's a really lovely hand cream. I also picked up one of those for a friend and then another like baby size of it to take on the plane. Also from Caudalie, I picked up two actually. I got one of these for myself and one for my mom. Um, this is the Polyphenol C15 and this is their anti-wrinkle defense serum and it's good for all skin types. So this stuff, when I look at the box, it says it is 100% antioxidant, it repulps your skin, like firms it I guess, and it's oil free. So this has vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and concentrated polyphenols. So I haven't tried this yet, but I'm very, very excited to. I've heard really good things about this. And then also from the polyphenol C15 range, this is the anti-wrinkle eye and lip cream. So I don't know anything about this. I actually got this and gave it to my mom. So I'm just like showing you some of my goodies from my mom. Okay, stuff. Now moving on to Bioderma. So this is a super famous product. This is the Bioderma Crayling Water. I'm sorry if that's so bright. So this is just a great makeup remover, but I didn't have any of the little baby sizes. So I picked up like three of these. 
And then also from Bioderma, I picked up the Adoderm Moisturizing Stick. This is for damaged and dehydrated lips, and it says it soothes and repairs. So I really wanted to compare like this with the Nuke Stick. So they're both, they're both okay, but nothing compares to my Rev de Miel lip balm. So good. Okay, almost done with the pharmacy goodies. So this is a lovely, lovely, like sun cream for your face. So this is by Aven. It is the Hydrons Optimal Light Hydrating Cream with SPF 20. Can you see that? I hope so. Anyway, this, I think I bought three of these. Um, this is just a really lovely day cream with SPF. Love the stuff. I've been using this for a couple months. Doesn't break me out. Love it. And then finally from the pharmacy, I picked up maybe three tubes of this. So this is called Omeoplasmine. And this is Basically, it just says for like skin irritations. This stuff is really cheap. It's maybe three or four euros for a tube. This is like a pretty decent sized tube. Um, this is really famous among makeup artists just for like using on your lips. Like it's really good to put this stuff on like when you start doing makeup um, and just let it sit there, you know, for like 30, 40 minutes, whatever. And then when you're ready to do your lips, wipe it off and it will leave your lips like really really soft it gets all the flakes and stuff off and this stuff like for me it's so cheap i was in france i picked this up like three four euros a tube i've seen this stuff online in america for 40 dollars a tube so when i saw that i'm like oh no i need to go buy more of this just because 40 dollars for this is crazy that's way too expensive okay done with the pharmacy goodies let's move on to bourgeois so i picked up at bourgeois i got the bourgeois happy light luminous serum primer so this is a really, really nice primer. I've been very happy with this stuff. Been using this the last couple months, so I wanted to have a backup. I'm about halfway done with my first one. And then I picked up some 123 Perfect CC Eye Cream. And I got two of these. I picked up two shades. I got number 22 Light Beige and 23 Golden Beige. So I think now, because I have a tiny bit of a tan, I could probably mix them. If I get darker, I could just use the 23. And in like winter, when I'll be lighter, I'll just use the 22. I've not tried this, but I've heard amazing things about this. So very excited to try that. Okay, then some lip stuff. So actually, this is what's on my lips today. So I got two of these Color Boost Glossy Finish Lipsticks. So they look like this. These sticks are just like chubby sticks. So the first one is number two, Fuchsia Libre. And this is what I'm wearing today. Put some more on. So this is like a really pretty sheer glossy pinky color. And then the other color I picked up is number four, which is Peach on the Beach. So it's kind of like, it's sort of like a milky peachy color. Like it's, it's definitely a little bit more opaque than the other one. Okay, and then I also picked up two of the Bourjois Shine Edition lipsticks. So the shades I got are numbers 21 and 37. So 21 is called Rouge Making Of. So it looks like that. And then it's sort of a nice sheer, yeah, nice sheer, like kind of an orangey red. Very glossy, not quite as glossy as the sticks. And then the other one I got is number 37 and this guy is called Raspberry Kiss. So very pretty, I really like the packaging on these. I think they're very cute. And then this is also like a ready, but it's a bit more pinky. So both of these products, this um, like the chubby stick guy, the, what do they call you? The color boost and then the shine edition. I really, really like these lip products. I think yeah, now I, I now have four of these and four of these. I really like these products. They're just, they're very sheer, very pretty colors for summer, like foolproof to apply. I really like them. Okay, I also picked up a blush from Bourjois. This is their cream blush. It's in number four and it's called Sweet Cherry. So it looks like that. And then if I swatch this guy, pinky, like mauvey color. And it also blends quite nice. Like it really blends out very well. So I've heard really, really good things about this. And then finally from Bourjois, I picked up four eyeliners. So these are their Contour Clubbing Waterproof Eyeliners. And these things are super, super waterproof. Now I picked up four really crazy colors. Um, I think I bought like five or six of these maybe a couple months ago that are more like the neutral, like chill colors. And then I just thought while I'm leaving, let's get some crazies. So First, I got number 45, and this is called Blue Remix. So it's a really pretty, like, turquoise -y color. And then I also got another blue one, well, green one, they say. This one's called Loving Green. So yeah, the first one's much more blue, the second one's more green. 
And then I got this really pretty silver. This is called Disco Ball. And this is very, very pretty. This is a really nice silver color. And then last, I got a pink one. This is called Pink About You. No, I don't really use pink eyeliner ever, but I thought, you know, maybe it'll be fun. So yeah, those are all my pretty bourgeois swatches. And they were so nice, and I got a cute little makeup bag from Bourgeois. Okay, so that's it for Bourgeois. Moving on to Monoprix. At Monoprix, I just picked up six bottles of nail polish. So they're all from this brand, Models Own. Now, I believe this is a UK brand. And I've really, really, really been wanting to try this stuff. But it was very hard to find in France. And their shipping from the UK to France was like 15 pounds for like whatever you got. And I just, it's just, that's just like too much for shipping. Um, but then they started stocking this stuff at Monoprix. So I picked up a bunch. So I got four of their Hyper Gel Gel Effect Polishes. So the first one I got is in color Purple Glare. So it's a really pretty like violet -y color. Really beautiful. Really great for your toes. And then I got a blue, and this guy is called Cornflower Gleam. Really pretty fun blue. And then I got a hot pink. This is called Cerise Shine. And then I got like a beige. This one's very, very like white, actually. Very beigey white. I thought it'd be more beigey nude, but this it's more like, it's much lighter. And this is called Naked Glow. Okay, next, also from Model Zone. This, I believe, is from their Speckled collection. I think their, their collection was called Speckled. But basically, it's like a blue-greeny polish, and then it has specks of, like, black in it. And when you put it on, it looks like um, those, like, those Cadbury eggs. Like, the little bitty, like, Cadbury, like, malted milk. No, they're not malted milk. I don't know. Just, like, chocolate eggs. Um, but they have... You know, the eggs were like purple and blue and pink and yellow and green. And they did all of those shades with this. So I really wanted to try that. And then finally from Model Zone, I got one. This is just red and this is called Red Alert. But they did this little kit and it came with these little funky stickers. Like little nail stickers. So I thought that was quite cute. Okay, so that's it for Monoprix. Just those nail polishes. Now, at the Duty Free Shop in Copenhagen beautiful duty-free store. I really had to control myself. There were so many cool brands, like they had a lot of like really cool Danish brands that I just really wanted to try, but I didn't actually have a lot of time. So I think it was good that I had a very short layover in Copenhagen, so I couldn't do too much damage. I did a little, but not too much. Anyway, first product I got was from L'Occitane, and this is their shower oil with almond oil. Now I've heard really, really good things about this stuff. Basically, I guess it's like an oil used to like clean your body, um, but it turns to like kind of like a milky, like a milky oily substance. I don't know. Haven't tried this, but I've heard it's awesome. So very excited about that. Okay, and then also at the Copenhagen airport, I picked up this kit by Ole Enriksen. Is it Ole Enriksen or Ole Enriksen? So I have got three products in here. So this is the Truth Serum Collagen Booster, and it says... It's, po it's a potent vitamin C complex to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. And then I also picked up, well, in my kit, there was the Sheer Transformation with vitamin C complex, licorice root, and pea extract. This is a moisturizer. I believe this is more like a morning moisturizer. And then I also got the Invigorating Night Gel. So this says it's oil, an oil-free gel, which helps to vanish the appearance of fine lines, pigmentation, and breakouts with AHA. So I didn't actually remember that Ole, Ole Enriksen was actually a Danish company. So I felt that it was very appropriate that while in Denmark, I pick up some Danish goodies. So very excited to try these guys out. I actually had a subscriber really, really recommend the Truth Serum. So I was really excited to try that. Um, so yeah, to my subscriber who like was talking about these, I totally thought about you at the airport in Copenhagen. Okay, so that is it. That is my crazy little... Au revoir, bye bye, ciao ciao, France haul. Um, definitely did a bit of damage. I am stocked on beauty goodies for quite some time. Um, but yeah, French products are awesome. If you get over there, be sure to leave some space in your suitcase because it is so easy to pick up amazing beauty products, makeup products in France. So let me know what your favorite French goodies are. Like what are your favorite French beauty goodies? Now is a perfect time for me to know because I do not have the option to go out and run to the pharmacy or run to Bourgeois and buy these things because I'm not there anymore. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!